birthplace of Daniel. Birthplace, we'll have to look him up. Birthplace of Daniel Harvey Hill. Lieutenant General. In the Confederate States Army. Soldier. Soldier, a something of the something we love. It's on, on carved on both sides. We maybe all the way around. Can you read anything on that side right there? Hill's Ironwork. Hill's Ironworks. Here were made. Some of the cannon used by the Patriots of the Carolinas during their during the revolution was burned by the British under Hawk H O U C K June seventeen. I believe it's 60, could be 80, it should be 60, most likely 60. Near this spot was also the home of Colonel William Hill. And then the rest of the print is down under. Yeah, this is at the Big Allison River. We built. See, Hills Ironworks, we built 1787-88 near here on Allison Creek. Hills Ironworks consisted of two furnaces, four grist mills, two sawmills, and about 15,000 acres of land by 1795. Around 80 blacks were employed here as forgemen, blacksmiths, founders, miners. Employed? <laughs> and in, yeah, that's a joke. And in other occupations. A nail factory. With three cutting machines that's operated here by 1802. Now, that, that's pretty wow. Nail and, and blacks employed in 1795. Yeah, I bet they were employed. William Hill, 1741-1816, served in the American Revolution and was present at the battle of Iron Works here in Allison Creek about 1776. Hill and his partner, Isaac Hain, manufactured swivel guns. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. Kitchen utensils, cannons, ammunitions, various farm tools. His ironworks was burned by the British Captain Christian Huck of Huck's Defeat, yeah. I would imagine, in June 1780. That's what happened down at Brattonville, the Battle of Huck's Defeat. And that. Yeah. I believe, I'm not sure. Well. Well, all right. And I think there's some more on the other side of the river. 